everyone, it's me Chris. Hope you're having the best day of your life. I know I am. My couch is comfy and uh, sleep has not been the greatest as of late. If you cannot tell, I will still persevere and get through my thing and conquer the day and tackle it. However, um, I am chilling because I have to journal, write, draw, get my thoughts in order, everything else. But so something going to talk about scars all the time and everything else and the ways of living your life. But so the um, one way that I choose to live my life is I have chosen to be self-employed for the majority of my life. And so with that, um, you have to understand there's a larger risk, there is potentially a bigger reward, and you have a life of adventure and a life of excitement. Um, with that being said though, something that I remind myself whenever I feel anxious, I feel fatigued, I feel tired, you know, I wanna give up, because you know, every, every person who's had a business always say like, oh, I never wanted to give up, I never wanted to quit. Oh no, every one of them went through that. Every one of them wanted to quit, they wanted to give up at some point, at some season. But the trick is, even if your brain tells you that, you still persevere. And so for me, I've had to learn to speed up by slowing down, to get more um, done by taking care of myself and being healthy. Um, but with that being said, one way I take care of myself is by journaling. I journal all the time, um, get my thoughts out, get my thoughts in order. And another way I do this is by sketching and so I see myself in my life. I think um, I think putting labels on yourself is not the best thing. But I will say in my case, what I've always related with most is being an artist. So since I was a child, I've always made art. I've loved art. I've loved film. I've loved movie. I've loved literature. I love things that are handmade. That's partly why I love cigars so much is because of the artist aspect of it. The fact it's hand rolled. The fact that it is made by someone who had to have their skill, their craft built to get that level, to make a cigar. And then, like many great things in life, like it's kind of, you know, as you know, fault in our stars, right? Allegory for life, death of my cigarette. This kind of allegory for life is like things are meant to be consumed. They're meant to be enjoyed. They're meant to be savored. And so that's why for me, a cigar is so pleasurable because it's like this beautiful piece of art that I'll now enjoy and I'll savor. And that's kind of my mentality towards many, um, many aspects of my life um, is that I choose to savor my life. I choose to enjoy my life. I choose to consume my time and spend my time doing what I love, being around people I love, and focusing on beauty and focusing on the good. And something that I love, one of the reasons I love Dostoevsky so much is I relate to him so much. Um, and this is just a little rough sketch, guys. Just sketching my desk. But so one of the reasons I like Dostoevsky so much is Dostoevsky is somebody who I relate to. He also went through a very difficult season, much more difficult than I went through, growing up in Russia and everything else, the crazy politics, all that stuff. And he was a, um, a revolutionary, a socialist for a while. And so Dostoevsky um, was arrested when he was about my, around my age. And he was put on a trial and sentenced to be executed. What he did not know was that it was a mock execution. And this mock execution, that's when the guy would come up, stand by his head with a little gun, which they perceived was loaded, pull the trigger, <laughs> click. So a lot of people that happened to them, they turned to madness, they say. They literally lost their mind. They had a breakdown because they're so terrified. Going through that was such a psychological torture that they lost their mind. You know, it's a Deer Hunter, the movie, the uh, Russian relay. Um, yeah, it's really powerful. But so what I was saying with all those things being said is that you have to understand that um, life is so beautiful and it's so fragile and we don't know how bad things can get. And also all the good decisions you make in your life can be wiped out by one bad decision. And no matter how much success you have, no matter how bulletproof you think you are, one bad decision can destroy all, all of your good decisions. And so that's why 
my purpose for making money or my purpose for working hard is so I can have enough saved, I can have enough put away, set myself up financially so I can have the peace of mind. I can have the clarity to make wise decisions, have good judgment, that I can have money where I can just be like, you know what, I'm just gonna chill, stay in for a bit, I'm gonna sketch, I'm gonna enjoy today for it being the best day of my life, I'm just gonna sketch, I'm gonna take care of myself, I'm gonna clear my head. Um, I don't want a boss who's gonna tell me what to do. I don't want someone, you know, I remember I had a boss years ago and he would call me and yell at me on the phone and say things I did wrong, blah, 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 over menial stuff. And the guy was just, yeah, I did some stuff wrong, but the fact he'd call me for as long as he did and everything else, you know, and I have to have to deal with this stuff and calm him down, like, hey, man, you know, because I find out the guy's going through divorce, he's projecting everything onto me. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to deal with that. And so for me, I want to live a life of independence, of personal autonomy. I want to live a life where I can live life on my own terms, by my own means, and I can choose to be healthy. I can choose to grow my mind. I can choose to spend my time in the ways I see fit. I can choose to live my life and love my life. So guys, if you are a young guy and you're not sure of the direction you need to go in your life, I would say follow your passion, but be realistic, but also have the end in mind, which is for me, it's personal autonomy, it's financial freedom. And it's the ability to live the life that I want to live no matter what. But anyway, guys, um, <laughs> a little bit rough, but here's my quick little sketch I did. Um, thank you all for watching. You're amazing. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Uh, I've been so excited growing this channel. It's way too much fun. I love it. I'm a little more mellow at the moment. Just calm down and chill and all that stuff. But you guys are the best. Thank you for being here. I love you all. Have the best of your life. I'm Chris. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.